We wanted to, to bring you just a quick bit of uh, the latest from Carly Fiorina's Senate campaign. You remember Demon Sheep? This is Demon Sheep's spawn. Becoming more and more bitterly partisan while she became shockingly less and less effective. Soon, her elitist self-image grew so that it overwhelmed the capital and drifted west. Westward, to tell us all how to live our lives. Why our hard-earned money should go to her to spend. Yes, Barbara Boxer, the blimp. It's uh, the subtle messaging uh, from the from the campaign. Glenn Thrush joins us from Politico.com. Glenn, yeah. thanks for being here. And, and I want to I want to start with this health care vote. It, it, Unbelievable that it's all come down to this this final week. What is left to be done to, to possibly get this get the Democrats over the hump? They, they've this is like every argument's been out there has been out there already. Well, I think the final uh, you know we, we started off initially uh, with a debate about health care. Then we have sort of moved to a debate about the existential state of the Democratic Party and <laughs> how they're going to be completely destroyed and driven out of power. Uh, now we're getting to a much more existential argument about the president himself, and I think the argument is really narrowing it down, as we heard Karl Rove talk about. Uh, to what would this mean, what would this defeat really mean to the president? You're starting to see, for instance, he's in Strongsville, Ohio today, he's in Dennis Kucinich's district. I, ha in terms of my uh, Kucinichology, I uh, noticed <laughs> Kucinich tends to speak in, you know, broad yes. pronouncements. He's softening ever so Not slightly around once the was, edges yeah. here, sort of saying at the moment, you know, qualifying things temporally yeah. and sort of saying that, you know, at right now, this is the way that I feel. Uh, so. He sounded st pretty well, convinced. Well, they said they know how to get our vote. Yeah, he, but, yeah. but that being said, how many members of Congress are interested in the argument about the health of the Obama presidency? I mean, they're on the ballot in 2010. Is that going to be sort of an effective argument at the end of the day for these for these very uh, uh, marginal district members? I think there are two answers to that. The first is. Uh, uh, the president gave a speech uh, before the Senate Democrats, like a question and answer thing, a few weeks back. And uh, I was, I walked up to a staffer. I was standing at the back of this, and uh, I said to the staffer, "Is this changing any hearts and minds?" And, and he said to me, uh, "No, it's not. But we've got to pump this guy up, or yeah. we're all going to go down with the ship." Uh, the second issue is just the, the presidency. Once, you, if you're sitting in the Oval Office, I don't care if it's Jimmy Carter or LBJ. If you're sitting in the Oval Office, we can't decide which one this president right. is. Right. <laughs> When you're, when you're sort of the, the singular focus of that kind of presidential attention, I think particularly when the world hinges upon this uh, and you're being promised all sorts of blandishments that we're going to find out later, uh, I think it's sort of difficult to say no. Glenn, in our last 30 seconds, uh, the best scenario for Republicans, we asked our, our Twitter followers, is a health care bill passing or a bill not passing? What's better for Republicans? Oh, I think contrary to Karl Rove's path of destruction, I think the path of destruction is nothing passing because the Democrats have had this historic supermajority uh, in the Senate and to get nothing done is just a denunciation. And in the zero-sum game of uh, Washington politics, that is an amazing scenario for Republicans, right? Right, yeah, yeah. right. right. And th then they can run against the policy as well as the fact that nothing got done. Absolutely, and that's where, uh, you know, I think that's where they hope this is headed. All right, Glenn Thrush from Politico.com. We appreciate you being here. Great to see you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot, Glenn. That does it for this edition of Top Line. Be sure to click us on again tomorrow. Twitter.com slash the note. Keep the conversation going. Let us know what you thought of Carl Rove. Let us let you know, know a Glenn. Glenn, no hat today. No hat. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm missing the hat.